Hey Google, turn on my office lights. What's going on you guys? My name is Jake. Today I'm going to show you a little behind the scenes of how I do my videos, how I make my videos, what equipment I use, camera, tripod, slider. Um, basically, I didn't have any piece of tech to make a video on this week. So I'm going to show you guys the tech that I actually use on my channel. <coughs> now, obviously we've seen plenty of shots of my computer, it's not even on right now. But I am just going to make this video real quick and show you guys what I have and, and what I what I make my videos with. So, um, yeah, I showed you guys initially walking in the room, turning on the lights. Uh, I have a lamp back there that you probably saw when I was setting up my tripod. I plugged that in. And that's what I use to light me. And it's not the greatest, but hey, it works for what I need it to. So, yeah, with enough said, let's dive into my camera slash YouTube filming setup gear. So yeah, let's do that. So first thing, let's talk about this tripod here. Um, it is a Bogan Manfrotto. It is a 3126. And uh, I bought it at this used camera shop by my house. Um, and yeah, it, it, does, uh, it does pretty well. It's a bit of an older uh, older tripod, but it's got a fluid head and it's got some pretty heavy drag on it So it really helps, you know with me getting some smooth pans and stuff like that. We have the lamp back there um, I have no idea where the lamp is from if I had to guess I would say Lowe's but uh, Yeah, it um, it's just got two out of the three lights in it because I was using the other light for something so Yeah, um, there's that and then uh, next up we have this slider right here and uh, this is a iFootage shark slider. And uh, I actually borrowed this from Dom. Shout out to Dom. His channel will be in the top right. <coughs> um, he's letting me use it right now. And basically, it's just a cool way to get some awesome shots for B-roll and stuff like that. So I am uh, super grateful for that. And then uh, some other things I use are, obviously, when I walked in, I used my Google Home and turned all my lights on. So... That's down there, just chilling in the corner, my little Google Home Mini. It was free with my Pixel, so yeah. And then I've got um, all of these stand-up lamps and this lamp on my desk here all use Philips Hue bulbs. So if I just say, hey Google, turn my office lights to orange, it'll turn it's just those four orange. lights to orange and really screw up my white balance. So, hey Google, turn my office lights to white. You got it, changing four lights to white. Get that back to normal. And yeah, this is uh, vlog mode. I've never done this, so hopefully this comes out pretty good. But uh, I'm shooting this right now on my Sony A6500. And yeah, I have a couple things for that. So let's go into the camera drawer and see what other kind of cool goodies we have. So. Let's go over here. Ooh, that was probably really close on my finger. I'm gonna grab my chair. Inside this here camera drawer, we've got a tablet. This is just an Amazon Fire tablet. Uh, I use it in Play Memories mobile app um, in order to use it as like a field monitor but I can actually put it near me where I'm shooting, so that's pretty cool. Um, in this bag is my Purple Panda Lav Mic. Um, it is just a cheap little $20 lav mic that I bought on Amazon, and it works really well. You can hook it up to the camera, to the phone, or to a phone, um, and some other stuff. But yeah, it is a really solid little microphone. And it is what I attribute a lot of good to, a lot of uh, quality to my audio game from. So, yeah, I really like this little microphone. So, there's that. And then inside here, too, it comes with a windsock. And it um, doesn't come with these. These are my other batteries for my camera. 
but uh, it comes with this super long extension cord and a bunch of different adapters that you may need to plug it into different type of uh, ports and like even it comes with a mini <coughs> USB to plug it into like an old GoPro which as it turns out is also in this drawer but yeah so that's all that's in that bag is just the camera or the lav mic and then uh, I also had in there because I was traveling recently and I brought my camera in case I needed it I also had in there this little wasabi power uh, charging station and two batteries for uh, my Sony a6500 let me see if I can crank this ISO up a little higher and give you guys a better view um, so there's my wasabi power battery station and two batteries for my camera and then I have my old uh, Pixel XL, which I use to record my audio with the lav mic. So there's that. And then I have this, uh, my Nexus 6, which actually needs to go back in my backpack. I don't know why it ended up in there when I was done traveling. Um, so these are the two little uh, phone adapter plugs for the DJI Mavic Pro that I made my last video on. Um, and yeah, this is the micro USB and the USB Type-C for that controller um i've got some various uh cables in here some mini usb and micro usb for charging stuff more cables more cables more cables okay and then we have my gopro hero 2 yes hero 2 uh this was the uh GoPro that I had for a long time when I was driving professional race cars. That's what those trophies are for up there. I drove off-road trucks professionally. So yeah, that's what that was from. It's pretty old, but uh, it still works kind of. The batteries just kind of suck on it. Um, and then I have this uh, Activion CX camera. It's about the same quality as my GoPro Hero 2. I bought it right before I got married and took it with me on my honeymoon, which was a cruise. And then I also filmed my Slide Rock video, which I'll throw a tag up in the top right for right now, uh, on this camera. But it, it does okay. Um, it's just, you know, kind of the same thing as my GoPro Hero 2. I bought it a couple years later, and it was only like 75 bucks. So, yeah, uh, that did well. And then I have in here a bunch of, like, mounts and whatnot tripods and there's a tripod adapter on that camera right now so tripods and car mounts and um chest mount and a selfie stick and a head mount and a tube mount this is like a handlebar type of mount and then uh another broken tripod mount um a floaty for it and then um, I also have two extra batteries and this battery charger for my Activion CX, Activon whatever CX. Um, and then I just have down here a bunch of USB power bricks. Um, yeah, and then some little memory cards. So that's it for this drawer. I'm actually going to slide all this stuff back to the back and put some of this stuff back away um, but yeah I've actually used almost all of this stuff on on a video at some point or another so throw that back in there throw that back in there uh, if you guys want me to leave a review for this purple panda lav mic I can do some comparisons uh, right now, this is just shot with my camera microphone because it's just, you know, kind of on board, behind the scenes -y type stuff. But yeah, uh, if you guys want a review on this microphone, let me know. Uh, I'll leave a review. Um, and then, yeah, I've got to pack all this stuff back up. So give me just one second here. All right, so that drawer's right there. It's got all that stuff in it. And yeah, I normally keep my A6500 right down here, but um, next drawer down actually has some chair stuff, and it also has my Mavic Pro now. That's where that lives. I keep stuff in the boxes when I can, and uh, this box just fit very well in this drawer. And like I said, there's some extra like chair pieces back there, but yeah, there's that. And um, 
obviously, I gotta pick these cables up. Throw those in there. So obviously this is my editing computer. This is my Threadripper 1950X, 64 gigs of RAM, dual 1080 Ti, custom water-cooled PC inside this Mac G5 case that uh, I put together. I have a video on, I'll link that in the top. And these are my two monitors. So if you guys want a more dedicated desk tour, I kind of have one, but it's for one of my first videos and I'd like to make a better one. So. If you'd like to see a, another desk tour leave a like in this video and if it gets let's say 15 likes by Thursday so that'll be two days from when this video goes live I will make a a new desk tour um, so yeah this is my unboxing table back here slash review table uh, normally I'll just take it and I'll set it up right on the edge of this carpet down here and move my coffee table out of the way but um, yeah, right now it, it's just sitting over here with this old chair. I actually really like that chair, but yeah. Um, <clears throat> this table right here is where a lot of B-roll is filmed. And same with that over there. Actually, I got to turn my light switch on. Now we have my Edison bulb lit up over there. Um, yeah, some more stuff just up in here. Um, I have another tripod right there. It's just a cheap Manfrotto one that I got from uh, Best Buy up there is Boxland. This is where I have all the boxes for all of my components for everything that's in use right now. Um, and then yeah, just some other bike stuff, some trainers, some rollers, a couple computer cases, another Power Mac G5 teaser for that video's live. We're gonna make another one. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that's all I really got, you guys. I hope uh, I hope you got something out of this video. Uh, let me actually turn this camera That's all I really got you guys. I hope you get something out of this video You like the little behind the scenes look and my vlog uh, Type just behind the scenes shot with my camera. No extra audio I hope you guys like that style because yeah, sometimes I'm just gonna have to do that. So um, Leave a like in this video comment subscribe to my channel watch me grow Hopefully you guys uh, enjoy my content and you keep coming back for more. And with that, I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.